everyone. I hope that you are doing well. I hope that you guys are staying safe. I love you all and I miss you very much. I hope that um, we'll get to see each other again soon. Happy Monday. I wanted to change things up a little bit. We are going to be making homemade instruments today. I thought this would be a fun opportunity to get those creative juices flowing and help some of our younger friends be able to participate in the activities that we're going to be doing. So today we are going to be making homemade maracas. I hope that you have all of these items already at your house. I believe that a lot of you probably do. So I'm going to go over all of the uh, pieces that you're going to need to be able to make a homemade maraca and then we're going to get started. So to start, you're going to need the shaker element of your maraca. So Miss Ladao is using wild rice. If you don't have rice, you can use beads, you can use little pebbles maybe that you find outside. You're going to need two spoons. You are going to need an Easter egg and you're going to need tape and you're also going to need some kind of decoration for your maraca. I have ribbon and I have stickers. If you have glue or pretty gems or if you want to cut out on some paper some of your own decorations, that would be a great option as well. So to start, you're going to open up that Easter egg and you're going to fill it with whatever makes the best shaker. So I'm going to use my rice and I'm going to close that egg nice and tight. Give it a shake. All right, now I'd say this may be the trickiest part, but I have some helpful tips. So to get this Easter egg in between the spoons, I'm gonna use a really small piece of tape and I'm gonna set that on the inside of my spoon and then stick my egg inside. That's just gonna help me hold it in place while I'm taping. That should be helpful. Now you're gonna want to tape the bottom of your spoons and also at the top near where the egg will be located. So. I'm going to start with the bottom. I recommend starting with the bottom. So get those ends nice and close together and then you're going to put that piece of tape on one of the spoons and just gently wrap around. You don't need to use painter's tape like Mr. Dow is using. You can use scotch tape. You can use whatever you have at home. So it should look like this. You can see that little piece of tape that's keeping it together. Now I'm going to tape at the very top close to my egg. Get that tape and just wrap it around. Wrap it around. Very simple. All right, and we are all set. Now for the fun part, you're going to decorate your maraca however you'd like. If you have the materials to make two, I would recommend that. Maraca should be played in pairs. Our beautiful percussion instrument. Make a pretty bow. And I'm going to use some of the stickers. I have dinosaur stickers, I have rocket ships, and footballs, and baseballs. Lots of fun stickers here. Stars. You can decorate your maraca however you wish. I'm going to show you my finished product here. And voila, you have your homemade maraca full of lots of fun stickers. So we are going to be doing a sing-along on my YouTube channel towards the end of the week. So I would love to know that you guys are on the other side of the computer shaking and singing along with me. Hope you guys had fun making your homemade maraca. I hope that you all stay safe and know that Miss Ladao misses you very much and loves you very much. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye everyone.